What's up everyone, John Matrix here with another guide video for you. And this one's gonna do with the culling. Uh, the company Xavier had released the culling 2 last week, which uh, was basically dead on arrival. No one liked it. And as such, they've shut it down and they decided to go back and support the original culling, which, in my opinion, was a great game up until they uh, ruined it with some balancing issues. But they decided to roll it all the way back to the day one release patch when it first uh, went on early access. Which, in my opinion, is when the game was at its best. Um, so with that, I've uh, got a build here for you guys. If anyone is interested in the culling, you should definitely check it out. This will be something that I uh, might be adding to the channel. Doing some uh, guide videos and builds on the culling. As well as just uh, throwing some culling matches on top of my main content, which is still going to be Hunt Showdown. So uh, this build is going to be a knife bleed build, which is a pretty simple build. Uh, for those that aren't aware in the culling, you're able to have three perks, and there's different categories of different perks. This is all based on having a knife, a blade weapon. Um, so if you do not find a knife, basically the only perk that's going to do anything for you is leg day. But uh, the three perks that I have here, as you can see, leg day is 10% uh, movement speed, runs with knives, 10% movement speed whenever you're holding a blade, so any kind of bladed knife weapon. Uh, those two stack with each other, so as long as you're holding a knife, you're going to have 20% increased movement speed. That's going to allow you to uh, chase people down and keep them in melee combat or run away if you need to and uh, kite people. So if you need to, you can have your knife out, uh, run back, switch to a bow real quick, get off a shot, switch back to a knife, uh, you know, keep uh, rinsing and repeating to pick people down. Uh, and then bloodbath, which um, with knives, whenever you hit someone with a knife, it applies a bleed status effect and this doubles the duration of that bleed status effect so essentially this build is kind of a poke and defend build where you want to go in hit someone and then step back and kind of go into defensive mode and you want your main damage really to come from the bleed because the bleed duration is going to be extended double normal um you know you want to take advantage of that and essentially just let them bleed themselves out instead of taking damage yourself so uh, I've got a little highlight here, a little clip, a little video, whatever you want to call it, of a fight I had that's a good example of how this build works. Uh, so I'm going to let it play with no commentary, and then I'm going to go back through it with a little bit of commentary uh, at the end. So uh, yeah, that being said, we'll just get right on in it here, guys. Alright, so let's run back through this with a little bit of commentary here. So, I'll come up to this compound and see this guy, and it looks like he's got a bow. So, I go in here, see if I can get him to move up, and he does. But, didn't wait long enough, so he blocks me, gets me a hit on. And pretty much through this fight, just notice how I poke him, and then I kind of keep a bit of a distance from him. And that's pretty much how this build really works. Um, I'm also, because he has a bow... I'm trying to keep a specific amount of distance from him because I want him to try to switch to his bow. And with my speed, it'll give me the uh, ability to move in and uh, get a hit on him. And he's not able to really do anything. And if I hit him while he's got his bow out, he's going to drop it. Or like that example right there, you know, he switches back to his weapon and I still get a free hit off him. So, yeah, I'm just basically just sitting there reapplying the bleed to him as whenever I can. Right there, I was worried that he was going to go and uh, sit and camp on the healing, but he just did a little fake out. It's really what he should have done. Throws his pipe. 
blocks me here, but uh, this match is this fight's pretty much over. He's got no real chance of winning. And then I finish him off with that swing right there. That's gonna do it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is just a simple little short and sweet video going over one of the builds that I really enjoy in the culling. Um, it's a simple little knife bleed build. Uh, if you guys like this video, you know, feel free to hit the like button down there. If this uh, gets enough traction and enough people enjoy this, this, uh, like I said, will probably be something I start adding to my channel as well. My main content is still going to be Hunt Showdown, but uh, I really did love the calling. And as long as Xavian supports this game properly and um, people enjoy the, the content, uh, I'm going to start adding this to my repertoire on my channel. Uh, if you're seeing this video and um, you've never heard of Hunt Showdown, uh, that's kind of my primary content. And uh, if you want to, feel free to check that out on the channel. I've got guides and some uh, matches or rounds, whatever you want to call it up there for uh, people to check out. Um, but yeah, like I said, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, and yeah, if you like the video, feel free to like the video. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. Feel free to use the comment section down below to comment on anything. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you guys on the next one. Got him. <laughs>